everybody, AD Jackson 330 here, and today I'm filming an updated walkthrough of my sticker storage. I filmed one of these a little over a year ago, and since then I've added in a few new storage systems, and I've been getting questions about how I store them, so I thought it was time for a new video. So I'm going to show you all the six different ways I store my stickers, and I'll do a little flip through of some of my sticker stashes as well. So let's get started. So let's start off with the basket and divider system. This is where I keep all of my Happy Planner stickers. I take them apart from their books that they come in and divide them into some different categories. I have quotes and script, mom life, food, holidays, dots and icons, bills, checklist, florals, headers, friends, circle quotes, shaped quotes, fitness, work, deco, and full boxes in the back. And this is what it looks like. I just keep it on my shelf for easy access. So this basket is from Walmart. It was $1.98 and it came in gold and rose gold and a few other colors, I think. It was a perfect size for both the Happy Planner stickers and my Ikea bookshelf, so that worked out great. And the original idea for this storage system I saw on um, Mom and a Girl with Plans from Instagram and I loved it, so I decided to take that idea and make it work for me. So all of these dividers, these are just regular scrapbook paper. I picked out a few different sheets that I wasn't going to be using for dashboards or anything else, but that I still like the colors and themes, and just cut those up to size, made sure that they were just uh, big enough to fit in here while still tall enough that I could see the tabs on the top. And as for the tabs, if you have tabs like this, that works great as well. I just had kind of a different mix of pattern tabs and wanted a more cohesive look, I guess, which is why they kind of go in a little pattern here, if you can see those colors. And so for these, I actually used the top of the scrapbook paper. This little piece right here that folds over from where you tear it out of the book, the perforated section. I just, and I can show you on the back of one, let's see. And you can still see some of the cut lines that I used to um, try and measure out. Um, so if you can see where that starts. So I would just measure down about right here and then trim it. Use some glue to stick this part right here. And that way this section at the top with the words is just right there. And I can give you a little demonstration really quick just so that's a little bit more clear. Um, this is just a standard 12 by 12 paper trimmer. Um, so when I was doing these, I measured them out a little bit better. But since this is just for a demo. Okay, so we would trim it like that first, just a section off the top. And then I would cut this way as well. And I would just do that as many times as I needed. You could probably get, let's see two, three, well not right here because this one ripped when I tore it out the page, but you can get at least three tabs from here. So then I would glue right here, put the pattern paper on the back of this big pattern paper, leaving this up, and then I would just label it. Just like this one over here, and that way it bends back a little bit and it's a lot easier to see on my shelf. And I do have lots of books that have been taken apart in here. I know a lot of people like to keep their books together, but for me, it is just so much easier to find the sheets that I'm looking for if I have them separated into categories like this. So if I'm looking for a certain quote, I know to go to the quotes. And if I'm looking for a certain piece of deco, then I simply go back here and flip through that section instead of flipping through 10 or 15 different sticker books because I have trouble remembering which pack comes with which stickers. So this is a great system for the Happy Planner books. Uh, you can make it work for any kind of stickers though. Next up is an oldie book goodie. This is a sticker book using the Happy Planner disc system. I made this cover using some scrapbook paper, washi tape, a Project Life card, and some of my favorite stickers and die cuts that I thought looked really well together. And then on the inside, we have got some vintage Happy Planner stickers. These are like the first edition sticker packs. And I simply took those out of the packs they came in, glued them onto some plain cardstock, and then punched the cardstock to fit in the Happy Planner system. And this is a great one for traveling because you can just stick it in your planner tote 
and have all of your stuff right there. Nothing's going to fall out or slip out of a pocket or anything because they are all stuck in there. And yeah, this is a great way to use up some of those extra discs you may have laying around. You can play around with the covers or use one of the pre-made covers that the Happy Planner sells. Next up, we have another system using the Happy Planner discs. This is a pack of the mini discs and a cover that I pulled off an old planner I wasn't using anymore. And inside we have some of my favorite samplers in the Happy Planner pocket page protectors. So I've used this page with a lot of different sections to hold the smaller ones and my Simply Gilded bows. And then we have the three section ones and the four section ones as well. And this has been just a great way to kind of organize all of the sampler sheets that come with my Etsy orders, all of my shop orders. It's just easy to flip through. For the most part, I have it separated by shop, but some of them, depending on size, got a little bit scattered around. It's not that big yet. I still have a few samplers um, that are waiting to be added in here as soon as I pick up some more page protectors. But again, just another fun way to use up some of these extra discs you may have lying around and organize those samplers a little bit better. Next up, we have the photo album storage system. These are all four by six photo albums that you can find in Walmart or Michaels, any craft store over in the scrapbooking section, photo albums area. And for the side here, I usually grab a sticker just from their sampler sheet to indicate which book belongs to which shop. For instance, this is the Fox and Pip book, but it's also the Deco book. This is another Fox and Pip book that is all Pip Girls. And this one is another Fox and Pip that is all of the bows. This one is the Honey Bee Shop. This one is my newest addiction. This is where I keep all of my foiled scripts. Some deco and the bows. And more foils in this one. And this is a great system to use because a lot of shops these days are using this kind of, uh, what is it, a quarter size sheet. So they fit really well on the 4x6 photo albums. Not to mention it is relatively cheap on the bank. It's probably a dollar or two for these albums in most stores. Um, and you can switch out the covers if you want to to decorate them. I'll probably do that at some point so that each one, like these three match, they're all my new addiction. And I'll probably do that with some scrapbook paper and cut them down. But for now, this is working really well. This next system is a five drawer box from Michaels that I caught on one of their sales. And this top drawer is where I keep a lot of my favorite shops that haven't gotten their own photo album yet. And then I use a second drawer, just some more <laughs> random stickers that I love to use. This third one is samplers and rewards cards. This is kit leftovers. Um, sometimes I have a kit or I go kitless um, and I'm just looking for things that coordinate. So I use some of these leftover stickers to help kind of pull out those colors. And then this last one is where I keep these kinds of sticker books that you find at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Um, I haven't torn those apart yet because I don't want to add them to my happy planner system. So they'll probably stay in here for a while. Okay, so last but not least, we have the mini binder system. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. They're all labeled, again, using stickers that I pulled either from the sticker sheets. I love when shops have their logo as a separate sticker, or I cut them off of the samplers. And so I have each one. This is the My Newest Addiction one. And these sheets, for the most part, are all the ones that won't fit into the four by six photo albums. And I keep all of my kits specific to this shop in here as well. And then I did run out of room since I don't have any other photo albums at the moment. So I just started stuffing these back here as well. And then just the same for each one. We've got an uh, album for Stickerific. This one for Grumpy Bear, who used to be Glitter and Shy. And then I have these extras. So these are just the mini binder dividers, or page protectors, sorry. You can find these at Walmart and Target. All of these binders are also from Walmart and Target. These are from Target. These are from Walmart. Um, they're usually at three to five dollars a piece. So this one has a few different shops. We've got KPL Plans, Wild Sunshine Co., 
uh, Bubba Bear and Kylie and Chaos. Just a kind of mix of stickers in that one. Then this one is the larger Fox and Pip sheets. Her older style sheets were these tall ones that always stuck out of the top of the photo album, so I'm glad I switched to this system for her stickers. This one is Villa Beautiful. So a lot of kits in here, kit leftovers from hers. And I love to save these kit leftovers because they do come in handy. And if I don't end up using them, I do de-stash them or send them in happy mail, just cut them up into pieces. And this um, is just the regular kit when I'm running a little bit low on regular kits. As you can see, I've kind of been using a lot of Villa Beautiful and Minos Addiction kits. So I guess that's a sign that I need to stock up on these. And that does it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. And if you use one of these systems or a different one, I'd love to hear about it. I'm always looking for new ideas. And yes, I realize that having six different storage systems may seem a little overwhelming, but no one system has worked out perfectly for me, and I happen to love the combination of all of them together. What works for one person may not work out for the next, so you've just got to find what's most productive for you and your planning system. It would take forever for me to tag all of the shops that were featured in this video, but check out my Instagram. There's a link for that in the description below, and I always tag sticker shops when they're used for layouts and other projects. If you have any other questions, drop those in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!